Glasgow Art Club was founded in 1867 by William Denniston and ten other amateur artists, moving to its current location, 185 Bath Street, in 1893. It was here that I was to meet William McClymont, who had arranged a tour of the club and lunch, with club president and artist Robert Kelsey. The site was originally two townhouses, constructed in the 1830s, with facades probably by John Baird. Art club member and architect John Kepi designed the two houses' conversion into the club, adding the gallery over the back garden, with his apprentice Rennie Mackintosh responsible for decorative elements of the gallery. A photo of Mackintosh is prominently hung in the dining room. That Mackintosh designed the gallery's decorations in his early 20s is most impressive. The gallery has been extensively refurbished, with particular attention paid to reproducing the colours and design of the frieze. The fireplaces were originally to be constructed of stone, but this was deemed too costly, so wood was utilised instead. Both fireplaces contain the letters GAC for Glasgow Art Club, these letters being replicated on some of the air inlets in the gallery. The billiard room, snooker tables now sadly absent, hosts exhibitions, new Scottish furniture being the exhibition for our visit. The exhibitions are open to all. These photos from 2007 on canmore.org show the billiard room with snooker tables present. The library can be hired for lunch or dinner, with seating available for 20. Robert informed us he's always intended to work his way through the books in the library, but he hasn't got around to it yet. The stained glass windows in the bar area attracted me. These were found in storage and incorporated during refurbishment at the insistence of a lady member who oversaw the renovations. Originally the bar didn't exist, drinks being dispensed through a serving hatch. Throughout the club are numbered pieces. These are club members works and are available to purchase. Tour over, we headed to the dining room for lunch. Like the exhibitions, the dining room was open to all, and from the menu I chose the beer battered fish and chips, which was most tasty. During lunch Robert gave a fascinating insight into his working practices and inspirations for his forthcoming London exhibition. He also mentioned the art club has reciprocal memberships with other clubs, one of which is the well-known London lovey haunt, the Garrick Club. William very kindly settled the lunch bill, and Robert made his way to an appointment, while William and I strolled to Central Station in the rain, him mocking my handbag brolly. Real men favour a collapsible umbrella. While at Central Station, I shot a photo of William with the main concourse as a backdrop, after which he headed for his train.